Hello everyone, Christine McKee here from the Emerging Technology team. Let's take a closer look at how we can organize and manage our files inside of the Files tab inside a channel of your class team. Let's start by opening the Files tab inside the General Channel. So here at the very top of the General Channel, I see the Files tab. And when I open it, I will see one folder that's already been created for me. That's the class materials folder. Now this is a unique folder because this is where a teacher can put files that they do not want students to be able to edit. This is what's called a read only folder. So in other words, students can open and review the files that you put inside of class materials but only the teacher can edit those files or documents. Now, to add files or documents inside the class materials folder, I can either create a new file to work on right here inside of Teams. Notice when I click the drop down beside plus new, I can add additional folders to organize my class materials folder, or I can create a blank Word document, Excel workbook, PowerPoint presentation, a new OneNote notebook, or forms for Excel. Notice that I can also upload existing files or folders from my device or my OneDrive. Let's go ahead and upload a file from my OneDrive. I'm simply going to click Upload, Files, and find my OneDrive in my File Explorer, and then find the file that I wish to upload. Once I've selected my file, I'm simply going to click open and we'll give that a moment. This will upload that file to Microsoft Class Teams inside the Class Materials folder, in the Files tab, in the General Channel. Now, something to keep in mind, when you upload files from your OneDrive to Microsoft Teams, keep in mind that you break the link between the file. Essentially, what's happening is you make a copy of the file, but the file inside of Microsoft Class Teams is going to be separate from your file in your OneDrive. So if you make changes inside the document or the file in Microsoft Class Teams, those changes will not appear in your original file in your OneDrive. All right, let's check out the Files tab of other channels. I'm going to click on the Renaissance channel and notice that I have a Files tab inside of this channel. All channels you create will have a Files tab located here in the tabs along the top of the window. Now, notice that I've already created a new folder. So again, if I click on the plus new dropdown, I can create folders to organize my files and I can create a variety of blank documents. I can also upload files and folders inside the Files tab in this specific channel. So what's handy about using the different Files tabs inside the channels is you can organize your content to share out with your students. Now keep in mind that any content, any files or documents you upload or create inside the Files tab in other channels or outside of that class materials folder in the general channel will be editable by all students. In other words, all students will have access to view the file and edit the file. 